about three or four years ago, the board of directors of the Institute, which is made up of uh, Latin Americans and, and North Americans, and which includes Enrique Garcia, the president of, of the Latin American Development Bank, known as CAF, C-A-F, an acronym for its former name, suggested to me that the Institute should take a look at the um, uh, issue of China's increased involvement in Latin America as a major economic development. Under the leadership of the Institute's Vice President, Lynn Walker, a former Pulitzer Prize nominee and a reporter for many, many years in Latin America, we have been quite active, have made many trips to China, led delegations, worked uh, with various Chinese institutions. Uh, and on our last trip, we were pleased to meet with our friends at Kicker. Uh, and uh, I am going to let uh, uh, Professor Wan explain Kicker to you. But our goal here is the following. We believe that China's increased role in Latin America warrants serious recognition and study. It's quite obvious to all of you, because you, I don't think you would be here unless you were uh, knowledgeable, that certainly one of the reasons China, uh, Latin America, has come through the recent world economic recession in better shape than might have been expected uh, in previous iterations of economic crisis is because China has entered into the Latin American market in a very aggressive and important way. China is now the number one market for many Latin American countries, Chile, perhaps Brazil, perhaps Peru, and if it's not the number one, it's number two. Most of the exports to, Latin, to China from Latin America are uh, raw materials, either food products, particularly soy, or, uh, or minerals copper, what have you. I think it is a mistake to view China's involvement in Latin America, or with Latin America, certainly in a, only in a commercial sense. I should also mention that in addition to being a purchaser of Latin American products, China is also becoming, rapidly becoming a major investor in China. In, I'm sorry. China is becoming a major investor in Latin America. Uh, we see this particularly in the natural resources area, oil, again, copper. And this brings with it a whole series of new issues that warrant discussion, both social, political, and economic. But quite beyond the economic matters, China's involvement in Latin America brings with it political implications. Now, there are some in the United States who would tell you that this is a threat of some sort to our country. I, having looked at this, I don't see this as a threat at all. But I do think it is naive not to understand that as, in, uh, as history shows us, when there is major economic activity, their political activity also ensues. And for many in China and the Chinese government, Latin American governments are seen as natural allies in important global issues, whether in the United Nations, in relation to global warming, in terms of South-South relations. So there is a whole gamut of activity uh, and it does not make sense for us simply to focus only on the commercial. I want to thank our many uh, friends and sponsors, uh, particularly the COF, uh, which has been very helpful in financing this, the Los Angeles Chamber uh, of Commerce, Carlos Valderrama, a dear friend, 
in the, of course, the Marshall School and others. One of the things that we will be doing in just a few minutes is signing a memorandum of agreement between Kicker and the Institute of the Americas to deepen our relationship. The involvement of China in Latin America, and indeed, the involvement of Latin America in China, as we see Latin American com companies seeking investment and trade, this is not transitory. This is permanent. And the Institute of the Americas and Kicker intend to pursue our relationship and pursue the study of these activities.